it's lights out and away we go and Leclerc gets away well ahead of Hamilton and Verstappen and then you have Sainz and Gasly scrapping away behind them but it's Charles Leclerc with a clear lead going through turn one he's got the start he's got the pole and he's gone away from Lewis Hamilton and they're looking up Sainz Gasly ahead Sergio Perez making up places as well the two McLarens getting bogged down in the midfield and the charge is on now down towards turn three Charles Leclerc leads the Azerbaijan Grand Prix from Hamilton and then comes Verstappen and Sergio Perez ahead of Gasly but only just the two going through into turn three separated by inches and making it now we see the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc has Lewis Hamilton right behind him and Leclerc has been leading throughout this race but not for long because Hamilton's got the toe, he's got the slipstream, he doesn't need DRS and he makes the pass to take the lead of this race. Leclerc's going to try and fight him back going into turn one but it's Hamilton now ahead of Leclerc with Verstappen in third. Ted, down to you. Yeah, the gearbox and the engine sounds like a bag of rusty nails. That sounds not good. And it's retirement. What a shocking uh, opening lap for, uh, for Esteban Ocon. He's out. We're watching Yuki Tsunoda in eighth as well. And we're watching Charles Leclerc under massive pressure from Max Verstappen. He's had to wait a few laps to get past the Ferrari. It's happened now at the beginning of lap seven. Hamilton leads. Verstappen is now second and chasing after the Mercedes. Leclerc down to third. And there's Yuki Tsunoda. Is he going to get past Fernando Alonso going into turn one? Do you know what? Yes, he is. Look at Sergio Perez straight there for protection. This is exactly what Red Bull need, isn't it? Up to third place. What a drive so far. In the space of a single lap, Charles Leclerc is now out of the podium at places. What's happened in sector two? We've got a yellow flag. And it is a Ferrari of Carlos Sainz who's gone off into the runoff area. Hamilton comes in, Verstappen and Perez stay out. Hamilton, it's a way. slow stop again. But he had to wait for the other car that was coming down uh, the pit lane. We've not seen drivers have problems here, but on the hard tyre, he locks up and has to bail out. Ah, sorry, guys. Yeah, going well so far. No, that's not bad. That's very solid, isn't it, Crofty? That's not the, uh, not the 1.8 I've seen. But what was it, about the two-second mark? Max Verstappen is away, and he is going to be ahead of Lewis Hamilton. The tyres are put on, hard compound tyre. Oh. For Sergio Perez, there's a problem at the rear. We'll get Ted Kravitz uh, thoughts on that in a moment. 4.3 seconds stop for Perez. That's undone all his good work. As you see, Max Verstappen going into turn one. Where's Hamilton now? Coming through turn one. Sergio Perez comes out in second place, still ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Oh, no, and that is an accident, and it is Lance Stroll in the Aston Martin. And as I said, here in Baku, you are only a few centimetres away from a big accident and a safety car, you would imagine, is inevitable at this stage. Let's have a look and see what happened to Lance Stroll. And yeah, absolutely no chance of avoiding the accidents. I said, potentially coming into the pits. He was the only one who hadn't pitted so far. Of course, what we don't know if it was debris, whether it was a puncture. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Whoa, red flag, red flag. Coming out. Just get me out red of this flag. place. A track. Got a puncture. We are going to get racing here in Baku, and now Verstappen's gone, and Lewis Hamilton has got a really nice toe behind Sergio Perez. Charles Leclerc could get interested here. Sebastian Vettel down the inside of Charles Leclerc gets past the Ferrari. Sergio Perez is under pressure from Lewis Hamilton. There's a huge oh, lock up by Charles Leclerc. He almost goes into the back of Sebastian Vettel. Somehow the Aston Martin doesn't make contact. Now Sebastian Vettel's looking to have a go at Pierre Gasly as well as Hamilton is trying to make a move. Sergio Perez, Perez goes through second, Gasly goes ahead, and stays ahead, I should say, of Sebastian Vettel. High drama in the restart there. Sebastian Vettel getting a nice one up here, Gasly's going to get it done. He's got the toe, he's got the fresher tyres, he's got the pace, Sebastian Vettel's got fourth place here in Baku. It can go right down to the chequered flag, and look at, oh, and that's Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen on the main straight. Leading this race, now out of this race, we saw Valtteri Bottas 
back in 2018 lose the Azerbaijan Grand Prix with a tyre failure. History's repeated itself in 2021, and this year it's Verstappen. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable, Crofty. Pirelli have gone one step softer with the tyre compounds uh, for this year's race. Have they gone too soft or is it just construction? They've changed the You can see, look at the tyre, you can see it's already failed. Uh, but they've changed the construction for this year, Crofty. They're a lot heavier. The drivers don't like the tyres. And the red flag has now come out. That the race is now going to stop. We're on lap 48 of 51, so they've red flagged the race. Well, Lewis Hamilton smoking at the front. Here come the lights for the second start of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. We're underway, lights out, and Perez immediately chops across. Lewis Hamilton's gonna get the lead. Lewis Hamilton takes it away, but he lands on it, but he's lost it. Perez goes back into the lead of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Up to second place goes Sebastian Vettel. Gasly is now on the podium. And Hamilton has gone from second in the race to falling out of the points as they tiptoe their way around turn two. We lost the championship leader with a crash. We lost his main rival with a lockup at the restart. This has not been a good day for the top two in the championship. Under pressure now, Pierre Gasly has got Charles Leclerc right behind him. Looks like Charles Leclerc is ahead of Pierre Gasly. Leclerc goes back up into the podium places. He started on pole, he may yet finish on the podium. Gasly's going to come back at him again, though. The Alpha Terry goes a bit deep and gets past Charles Leclerc. Out in front, Perez from Vettel. This scrap's still going on. Gasly's still ahead of the Ferrari. Behind them, Lando Norris waking, waiting to pick up the scraps here. But Lewis Hamilton, 54 points, scoring finishes in a row. And he fails to score points today as down the inside goes Gasly. Stays ahead of Leclerc for one brief moment. Lando Norris thought he had a chance. Gasly cuts him off aggressively going through turn four. But Norris is still coming back in the Ferrari. It's a top three that you might not have expected to fill the podium places, but there are going to be smiles from them here in Baku. Sergio Perez moved teams over the winter, went to Red Bull in his sixth race for his new team. Sergio Perez wins the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel moved teams. He picks up his first podium for Aston Martin and their first podium in Formula One. Pierre Gasly's back on the podium too for Alpha Tauri as he comes home third. Is that Perez just stopping by the side of the track? Well done, Sergio. Well done. Thank you for finishing that off for us. Great job. This is for you guys. Stop the car, stop Fantastic the car. Fantastic job. Okay. Stop the car, stop a pair exit. What the f was that, honestly? Seriously? Does he want to kill us? Understood, Nick, understood. Checkered flag, checkered flag. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> understood, Nick. Sebastian Vettel, congratulations, you are driver of the day. Thank you. What Thank a you. race. Sum that one up for us. P2. From P11 yeah, it's here. amazing. I'm not, I haven't got much time to sum it up. I need to go to my guys, but uh, it's a bit weird. Who, who, who gave you my number? <laughs> <laughs> I'm now your race engineer, Sebastian. How things are going to change for you from now on. Uh, but congratulations, your driver of the day in Azerbaijan. Yes, mate. Well done. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Great job. Hey, 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 hey. That's a podium, man. That's a wrap. Thank you, the car was amazing today. What a Baku race it was. What an Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Perez picks up the points. Verstappen and Hamilton, the championship contenders, both fail to finish. It's Baku to the drawing board for them. It's celebrations for Perez tonight.